Hey, welcome back. It's Jason Walter here. If you're thinking about moving to the Sacramento area, then this video is for you. I lived here for over 35 plus years and I absolutely love it. So I thought I'd make a video about different neighborhoods within Sacramento to kind of give you a general overview about the area. And keep in mind, I'm not gonna be going over every single neighborhood within the Sacramento area because otherwise this video would be three hours long, but I am gonna give you a general overview. And with that said, let's begin today's video. So Sacramento is right in between the San Francisco Bay Area and Lake Tahoe. We're about two hours away from San Francisco and about two hours away from Lake Tahoe as well. And we're also really close to a wine region in Napa. That's only about an hour and a half away. And then Carmel Monterey area, an area I really love, is about three hours away. So we're basically right in the center of the state and really close to a lot of areas that a lot of people like to visit for weekend getaways. So let's go ahead and dive right into the video here. General overview about the area. So here's downtown Sacramento. We have the airport, which is up over here. And then Folsom Lake is right here. And then we have uh, Davis over here. So let's just go ahead and zoom in here. And here's the neighborhoods or the areas I kind of want to cover in today's video. So that'd be West Sacramento, uh, downtown and midtown Sacramento, Natomas, which is just north of Sacramento, East Sacramento, as well as Curse Park, Land Park, as well as 95864 area. Uh, what That's a zip code. Uh, that's around like the uh, American River Corridor, Sierra Oaks area, that general area. In any case, I'll go over that here in just a little bit. So anyways, uh, first neighborhood I want to go over with you today is West Sacramento, which, believe it or not, is just west of downtown Sacramento on the other side of the Sacramento River. So here's the Sacramento River. It runs more or less north and south. And we also have the American River, which runs towards the west, as you can see right here. And that's where the American River Parkway is. I talk about that in all my videos. In any case, West Sacramento has a lot of diversity as far as housing goes. So West Sacramento is right here, uh, this whole area here, and also south of 80 as well. So the first area I wanna go over with you guys is called the Bridge District. The Bridge District hugs basically right where I-80 is and the Sacramento River. Uh, this is the Tower Bridge, uh, that yellow golden bridge that you might have seen. Um, there it is right there. And we have Old Sacramento here, and then of course, Downtown Sacramento. So these houses here in the Bridge District were built more or less within the last five years. Uh, we have uh, a couple of, of shops here uh, in this area. Drake's is a really fun bar to go to. They also have uh, drinks. They also have food there as well. So the Bridge District is very, very close to um, downtown Sacramento. So if you do work in downtown Sacramento, you can literally ride your bike um, to uh, across the Tower Bridge into downtown Sacramento very, very easily, or even walk or if you work really close to I-5 here. In any case, a lot of these houses here in the Bridge District are built within the last five years. If you're really close to uh, the Sutter Health Park, that's where the Sacramento River Cats play. That's our minor league baseball team, as you can see here. But they're doing a lot of developments over here, also on the north side of Tower Bridge as well. So they're building a lot of, uh, of uh, buildings here, a lot of new houses as well, um, and also apartment buildings as well. Um, in any case, that's what the area is like. Let me just show you kind of like at a street level what it looks like. A lot of the houses there are uh, two or three stories high, flat roofs, kind of more modern uh, style. And you see Drake's, uh, the street view is a little bit old, but this is the Drake's where the bar is now. It's been around for a few years um, now, but not a lot of shops around here. We do have that one. Oh, there's a better location, a better picture there. Drake's right there, but very little in the way of shops, but going into downtown Sacramento, you do see a lot there. Anyways, let's zoom out again. So that is the bridge district of West Sacramento. We also have like an older part of West Sacramento as well. So the older part of West Sacramento really is kind of like in this general area here. Um, houses in here are built around 1950s and they start at around $300,000. I would say the bridge district really starts probably in like the $600,000 range. These houses are a lot newer, of course, than these houses over here. Also, you have um, just south of I-80 as well. You have this area right here where there's a lot of houses built here, but these houses are also older, built in like the 40s and 50s. A lot of these are two bedroom, one bath, or three bedroom, one bath, or even three bedroom, two bath, but tend to be a little bit smaller lot sizes and also smaller houses as well. But these houses here are mostly in sell and they're in the 400,000 price range. And again, mostly two bedroom, one bath uh, to three bedroom, two bath. And as you go south of this uh, deep water canal, and by the way, this deep water canal 
uh, goes all the way to the San Francisco Bay Area. So we do have a means to get to the Bay Area from this canal here. But anyways, south of this canal here, the houses tend to be a lot newer. A lot of the houses here are built in the early 2000s. And the price range here is in, more or less in the range of $500,000 to $700,000 for a home. Uh, keep in mind, if you are interested in the West Sacramento area, uh, the area has a lot to offer, especially uh, the West Sacramento uh, Rec Center, which is right here. It's next to River City High School. So it's just north of River City High School off of Jefferson Boulevard. In my opinion, this is an awesome uh, benefit of living in the West Sacramento area because this rec center is very affordable. They have uh, gym classes, they have a lap pool, they have a, a water park area, they even have a bunch of uh, tennis courts and also basketball courts as well. It's part of the HOA within this uh, general area of West Sacramento. And last time I checked, I think it was around like $50 to $70 per month to be a member of this rec center or to pay the HOA to be able to go there. In any case, it's an amazing facility. I uh, did a video about that about a couple of years ago, but it's an amazing facility. I uh, highly recommend checking that out if you are looking to move into the West Sacramento area. And just to give you a kind of general idea about what the houses look like in West Sacramento, again, a lot of these houses are built in the 2000s. Um, a lot of them are more or less track houses, but they are built on slab foundations, uh, stucco, uh, siding and then uh, tile roofs. So more or less a newer style um, compared to the uh, obviously houses built in the 50s, of course. Kind of smaller trees because the houses are built in the last 20 years. And by the way, I obviously can't talk too much about each of these neighborhoods, otherwise this video is gonna be forever long. But if you want me to make a separate video about any of these neighborhoods, then just leave me a comment below. So let's talk about another neighborhood, which would be downtown and midtown Sacramento which obviously is right here. So downtown Sacramento is right here. You have, again, I-5 here, and then Highway 50, which intersects with I-80 going right here. This goes to the Bay Area or it goes to um, Tahoe. In any case, the downtown area and midtown area is very diverse. So you can have three-story houses that have been just built more recently within the last five years, or you can have old Victorian houses that are built around the 1900s, early 1900s or late 1800s. So the area is very diverse as far as housing goes uh, in this area. And therefore the home prices are also a wide range as well. But one of the biggest attractions in my opinion is the Golden One Arena, which is in downtown Sacramento. That arena is where the Sacramento Kings play. You also have a lot of concerts that play there as well. And here's the what it looks like. It's super cool stadium. Uh, and it was just built in the last, like, I would say probably the last five years. Uh, really cool stadium. A lot of good seats there if you want, if you're really interested in, in looking at um, basketball games. Really fun time there. Um, that's the Golden One Center. I call it the Golden One Arena. So of course, the big draw of the downtown and midtown area of Sacramento is that if you work in that area, it's very easy to get to uh, your job. A lot of people ride their bikes in their area. You can hop on a jump bike um, or you can just ride your own cruiser bike. It's flat, it's on a grid system. It's really easy to get around. Also, if you're into going to restaurants, bars and shops, there is a ton, and I mean a ton. There's a, a lot of really good restaurants, especially in the midtown area. Uh, some of our favorites as well there. So that's kind of one of the draws. Also, there's a light rail system as well that basically more or less ends in downtown Sacramento. You can take it all the way to Folsom if you wanted to, um, or down 99 to Sac City College is more or less, I think, where it dead ends or Consumer River uh, College. In any case, the light rail system uh, runs all the way to uh, Folsom Lake or Folsom, I should say. Downtown Folsom runs along here along I-50 um, and also under down I-80 uh, as well. Uh, any case, it's a public uh, light rail system in the area. So some people who live um, east of uh, downtown Sacramento, for example, hop on the light rail to get to work to downtown Sacramento and not have to worry about uh, parking, for example. Um, another neighborhood I want to go over with you guys today is Natomas. So Natomas um, is on the north side of downtown Sacramento. And Natomas is uh, basically uh, right next to the Sacramento International Airport. So North and Thomas is in this section here, and then South and Thomas is here. Uh, most of the Natomas area has built has been built within the last 20 years. Uh, a lot of the houses have been built within uh, really the last like 10 years. Uh, there was a moratorium on building houses here for a long time. In any case, uh, if you do buy a house in this area, you do have to pay for um, flood insurance. This is a natural floodplain. 
Uh, but the Army Corps of Engineers and the city spent um, hundreds of millions of dollars to build up the levee along the Sacramento River, and that moratorium was lifted um, some years ago. In any case, you still have to buy uh, flood insurance uh, for this area, but I've lived here for, gosh, over 35 plus years, and I can't remember any time where this area has flooded. Not to say it won't, but um, I have not seen it in my 35 plus years. But you do have to pay for flood insurance, and that's around like $50 um, per month. So I'm going to break down the Natomas area in two sections. Of course, that's the North Natomas area and the South Natomas area. The North Natomas area, houses there average around $550,000 at the time of this video, which is February 2022. Um, and that gets you a house of around 2,000 square feet at $550,000. And then the house would be built within the last 20 years, let's say. Uh, one of the big draws of the North Natomas area, in my opinion, is the club at Natomas Park. The club at Natomas Park is right here. So this is a Natomas um, Boulevard, and then this is Club Center Drive. So just east of I-5 and 99 right here. So when you zoom in here, uh, this club and rec center um, is absolutely amazing. Um, it's part of the HOA within this area, and it, the HOA is only about $70 per month, and it gets you access to this club which is amazing. You get two um, tennis courts, there's a basketball court, there's a bunch of swimming pools. So there, if you're into a lap swimming, they have a lap swimming pool right here, a kiddies pool here, and also a very large family pool as, as well. Uh, within the actual um, building itself, they have a ton of different um, exercise equipment. There's a gym, there's also exercise classes as well. They also have different clubs as well within the um, park here. So in my opinion, a great benefit of living in the North uh, Natomas area because you do get access to this um, area if you are a homeowner within the uh, boundaries of this club. All right, so let's talk about the South Natomas area. So South Natomas is basically uh, south of Del Paso Road in this general area here. Um, houses here are tend to be a little bit cheaper than North Natomas. So the average sold price in December of 2021 was around $470,000 for a 1500 square foot home. Uh, a lot of this area here is being developed as well. There's gonna be a new Costco that's gonna be um, built here. Um, and also there's a lot of new houses here that are built as well. So if you're interested in buying potentially a brand new house, you may wanna look into the Natomas area because there's a lot of land uh, that still has yet to be developed. So one thing I do wanna mention about the Natomas area, I said it's very close to the airport. So a lot of people who do have to go to the airport for leisure or for work, super easy to get there probably take you five minutes to get to the airport but you do have airplane noise throughout the day because um, of course the airport's so close so kind of like the pros and cons regarding that another thing that people really love about natomas is that it's very close to downtown sacramento a lot of people do work in downtown sacramento if you live in natomas you're only going to have about a 15 minute commute to downtown all right, so the next neighborhood I wanna go over with you today is East Sacramento, which believe it or not, is east of downtown Sacramento. Uh, it's an area that um, has a lot of really custom houses that are built in like the 30s to 50s. A beautiful little neighborhood, uh, in my opinion, and a lot of um, tree-lined streets, um, beautiful little area here. Obviously, you work downtown, it's very close to get there. If you're into going to shops, restaurants, and bars, there's a lot of options um, in this area as well. Um, and especially it's very close to Midtown as well. So uh, one of my favorite parts about the um, East Sacramento area is, um, is McKinley Park. McKinley Park has a tennis courts. They have a large uh, field. They also have a pond that has uh, turtles in it. If you have kids, it's really fun to bring them to that. And there also is an actual park itself, uh, a kid's uh, play area there as well. So let me show you kind of like the um, street level view of what it looks like. So here it is right here. This uh, kind of dirt path right here runs around the entire uh, park. If you do one loop, it's one mile. So back when I used to run, it was very easy to kind of track you know, your, uh, your time and your distance because uh, you do one loop and it's one mile. Uh, in any case, here's the actual pond itself. They've done some renovations to this uh, more recently. And then a lot of kids like to feed the ducks and whatnot. And so let me just kind of go down the road here it's really hard to see the play area, but that's the new play area. Uh, really cool uh, for kids if you have kiddos. So as you can see, there's a lot of trees in this area. Uh, here's the um, park as well. And then you can take a look at these houses here. A lot of craftsman houses and Victorians uh, that are built in like the mid 1900s and early 1900s. 
have a lot of character and it's as you can see a lot of tree lined streets here so let's kind of go down this one street and kind of show you real quick so you can see how many trees there are they have sidewalks a lot of houses are kind of smaller lot sizes um, and smaller houses but i absolutely love the street tree lined streets of this area here Another section of East Sacramento that I want to show you very, very quickly here is the Fabulous 40s. So Fabulous 40s are around the off of J Street in between Folsom more or less. Uh, these houses are uh, on much bigger lots than other parts of East Sacramento. Uh, if you watch the, the uh, film Lady Bird, uh, the, one of the houses there, the blue house was filmed here uh, in East Sacramento here. But as you can see here, lots of trees and uh, much larger houses here as well. We call it the fabulous 40s. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Another neighborhood I want to share with you guys today is the Lamb Park and Curtis Park areas, uh, the Sacramento area. So those are neighborhoods that are just south of downtown Sacramento. Uh, you have uh, Lamb Park, which is right here, um, and then Curtis Park right here, which is more or less is bordered by a Freeport Boulevard. So these houses here, the average price point in December 2021 was around $700,000 for a 1,500 square foot home. Uh, and most of these houses are on smaller lot sizes of less than a quarter of an acre, just like East Sacramento and also West Sacramento for the most part. And those houses in general in these areas have less than a quarter of an acre as well as Natomas as well. So Lamb Park and Curse Park area tend to have houses that are built in the early 1900s. So I would say right around 1910 to the 1940s in general for Lamb Park and Curtis Park. Again, a lot of character to these houses and tree-lined streets as well. Now, if you are looking for a newer house within these neighborhoods here, then check out the northwest corner of Lamb Park. There's some newer builds that are built out over here. However, if you are interested in a newer house, then check out the northwest corner of Lamp Park because they are building a lot of new houses out there and they have been doing so over the past five years as well. This neighborhood over here, as you can see, a lot of new construction in this area here. One of them is the uh, mill, Mills at Broadway. So one of my favorite parts about the Lamp Park area is William Land Park, which is right here, the southern por portion of Lamp Park. It's a 160 acre park uh, that has a, a bunch to offer here. It has a nine hole golf course, there is a bunch of soccer and baseball fields. Uh, there's also rugby fields as well. Also within uh, William Lamb Park is the Sacramento Zoo. Super fun if you have kids or if, even if you don't have kids, really fun to check that out. There's also Fairy Tale Town as well, which is wildly popular with uh, kids as well. Okay, the last neighborhood I wanna share in today's video, if you are still watching this video, then thank you so much for watching the video. I do appreciate your support and also hit the like button if you are getting any value out of this video. But the last um, neighborhood I wanna go over with you today is in the 95864 zip code, which more or less is called like the Arden, uh, Will Hagen, American River Corridor in the Sierra Oaks area in Arden Park as well. In this general area here is just east of East Sacramento, it's very close to California State University of Sacramento, but you're really about a five minute drive from East Sacramento, uh, but you do get larger houses on larger lot sizes. The area is very diverse as far as housing goes. You have the most expensive house that has sold ever in all of Sacramento County in Sierra Oaks Vista, where you can buy a house for four to $5 million, or you can buy a tear down on an acre for uh, over a million dollars or around a million dollars. There's also Sierra Oaks, which is just south of Fair Oaks as well. A lot of houses there built in the 40s and 50s and 60s um, and million dollar houses there as well. So there's a wide range of houses here. Uh, the average home price here is around $650,000 and that gets you a, around a 2,000 square foot home. And a lot of these houses are really on quarter acre lots. You do have Sierra Oaks Vista, which I'll show you here right here. Sierra Oaks Vista is this section right here. So here's a Fair Oaks Boulevard. Fair Oaks Boulevard goes across uh, the American River and becomes J Street, which goes all the way to downtown Sacramento. So the borders of Sierra Oaks Vista is Watt Avenue, Fair Oaks, uh, Monroe slash Fulton, and then also Northrop on the north side. So the area here, uh, these are areas where you can get a teardown for a million dollars um, or you can buy a $5 million home. So a lot of these houses here are much larger but on beautiful one acre properties, a lot of these properties um, on acre or more, 
And these houses here are on a well system as well. They don't have metered water. But you can see here lots of trees, narrow streets, and some beautiful houses here as well. So that's Sierra Oaks Vista. Just the south of Fair Oaks is called Sierra Oaks. Um, a little bit less um, smaller lot sizes compared to Sierra Oaks Vista. Again, Sierra Oaks Vista is around acre lots uh, and a uh, million dollars plus. Or in, in the Sierra Oaks area, they have about a quarter of an acre to a half an acre lots. Um, and also really close to the American River and the American River Parkway. So if you're into cycling, trail running, uh, kayaking, stamp paddleboarding, then you can go to the American River Parkway. And that's a parkway um, and trail system that runs basically from downtown Sacramento all the way to Folsom Lake. So about a 32 mile uh, bike ride that you can do and there's no traffic lights at all. So it's a really cool benefit of living in the Sacramento area in my opinion. Within this area, you also have Arden Park and also Arden Park Vista as well as Murraymont. And also a lot of people call Will Hagen or the American River Corridor, which is basically all the houses that run along the American River Drive uh, going into Carmichael. So that's a lot to go over in today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. If school rankings are important to you for whatever reason, then check out greatschools.org. That's greatschools.org. You can type in any home address and it'll tell you the assigned schools uh, for that house or also in general neighborhoods as well. So I hope that's um, helpful for you if that's important to you. And if you got any value out of this video, then please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. And also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Hope you have an awesome day. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.